Hi, everyone, and welcome to this feature blurry. Today, we are covering our new ML powered functions, which are now in public preview. And my name is Sue Hasaya. I cover product marketing for the data warehouse workload. And today, I have the pleasure to be joined by Ellery and Dinesh. Hey, everyone. I'm Ellery Burke, product manager for ML powered functions at Snowflake. Hello, my name is Dinesh Kulkarni. I'm also a product manager at Snowflake working on ML powered functions. Awesome. So let's start by getting some context. Ellery, do you mind giving a very short overview on what exactly ML powered functions are? Yeah, no problem. So ML powered functions are just familiar SQL functions powered by machine learning models under the hood. And our first ML powered functions can help solve time series forecasting, anomaly detection, and data insights problems. They're meant to be easy to use for anyone who knows their data, knows SQL, and wants to generate accurate insights quickly. They can also scale from one to millions of ML-powered insights with the familiar elasticity and near-zero tuning of the Snowflake platform. And finally, they share the best-in-class data governance and security that's common to all Snowflake infrastructure. Awesome. Thanks, Ellery. I'm super excited about this feature. And Dinesh, I would love to learn from you why we decided to build it. Sure. Uh, so data analysts have a really tough job. They have to keep pace with explosive growth of data in their organization. They have to balance the work required to get accurate insights and make fast decisions. And as they seek to understand and explain the anomalies or the forecast quickly, it takes valuable time and effort to delve into their data and get the right models to give them the right answers. And the existing tools for analysis that are really meant to make their lives easier, they're not always able to keep up because of the volume or the changes that are happening. And so analysts generally struggle to manage all of this while making sure that they are able to use the best in class models, best in class research in ML. And that's why we wanted to make sure that they can use this without having the data science knowledge or the time to go build models. At Snowflake, we really believe that analysts can take advantage of ML to the fullest extent and that's possible if you're able to abstract away some of the complexity of ML and give simple to use functions. Awesome. I love the fact that we are empowering our data analysts with the benefits of ML. Very cool. Ellery, do you mind sharing what steps customers should take to take advantage of ML powered functions? Yes, definitely. And I've got another slide here just showing our three ML powered functions that we have in public preview. And I mentioned that because since these functions are in public preview, it means they're accessible to all Snowflake users wherever they use SQL to work with their data in Snowflake. So as a user, regardless of which cloud, region, et cetera, you're in, you should be able to access these functions. And that includes trial customers. And then there's no added cost for using ML-powered functions above and beyond typical compute and storage costs. And then if you want to learn more about using these features in your Snowflake environment, you can find quick examples in our documentation and in a blog that will link in our YouTube description. All right, last question for you two. Uh, do you two have any best practices or tips to share as folks get started with ML powered functions? Sure, so that's a great question. We've really seen customers expand the range of problems that can be tackled with ML. Analysts and decision makers don't have to wait for data science teams to take up whatever problem that they have, let's say forecasting or anomaly detection, and then wait for some time to get the models built and deployed. They've started a culture of self-service in general, the customers that have been most successful with our functions. And they use these time series functions essentially as a whole sequence, a pipeline, if you will, to look at the forecast, to look at the anomalies, and then to analyze what is contributing to those an anomalies. Now they can put those things not just in the regular day-to-day -day analysis or ad hoc ones, they can put the metrics on dashboards. So the forecast shows up right next to the key business metric that it's forecasting. And so to summarize, my main tip would be don't hesitate to take the initiative of using ML-powered functions and doing self-service instead of waiting on somebody. And even for data scientists, it's a great additional tool where they can do a first cut with the functions and then decide if it merits a custom bespoke model or not. And then just to add on to Dinesh's great tips, I would say, remember that you can use ML-powered functions with the rest of Snowflake, including Snowflake tasks, to regularly train a new model to incorporate your latest data. 
and to generate predictions on whatever schedule is useful to you. You can also use Snowflake native email alerts. So if you were using anomaly detection to make sure that your data pipelines were healthy, um, you can set it up so that you get an email alert and you don't have to monitor the results of your ML Power function manually. Then, as Dinesh mentioned, we're really excited about Snowflake users building these functions into their recurring data pipelines and feeding them into dashboards so that other folks on their teams can benefit from these ML-powered insights as well. And then my very final tip is just to be on the lookout for additional functions from our team. We're excited to help our users solve additional challenges with ML-powered functions soon. All right. Thank you so much, Ellery and Dinesh, for sharing those insights. We're really excited about ML-powered functions and uh, looking forward to seeing how you all use them. Thanks, Thank everyone. You.